It's time for this Democrat senator to admit he's Republican. His red state constituents would be relieved, and it better describes how this lawmaker votes most of the time. West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin recently admitted things have nearly gotten to the point where Democrats are preventing the working class from working, explaining how Donald Trump's jobs policies toppled those offered by Obama replacement Hillary Clinton. Barack Obama's environmental and energy policies thoroughly crushed the spirit of West Virginia and the people who dwell there. The senator very accurately said the people in his state have long been doing America's heavy lifting. The coal miners dig deep into the earth to churn out the combustible rock which powers the United States. Wo Nancy Pelosi probably just put up a photo of Manchin on her office office dartboard for that tidbit of honesty. Senator Manchin has been a friend to Republicans before, so his anti-liberal stance should not shock the likes of Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders, but they aren't going to like it either. The West Virginia senator has rarely been afraid to step away from the progressive herd to stand up for what his constituents need with the obvious exception of Obamacare. Of course, when describing why voters in his state went so strongly for Donald Trump on Election Day, Manchin said the outpouring of support stemmed from West Virginians feeling like returning Vietnam veterans who did everything their country asked and then got kicked in the teeth. I'm a West Virginia Democrat, not a Washington Democrat. Joe Manchin said said he looks where needed for solutions, but then he added this toxic atmosphere is not for me. It's not who I am. When pondering further about the results of the 2016 election, Manchin said West Virginia voters railed against a traditional Democrat and a traditional Republican. The senator feels President Donald Trump is committed to really getting things done in America. As Americans, we always win if we work together. Manchin said when asked by the Daily Caller about the liberal career politicians who chastise him for being willing to interact with Republicans. Perhaps Manchin's best response came when the senator was asked about his thoughts on the lambasting he has taken from Harry Reid over the years. Harry and I have not seen eye to eye since I arrived six years ago, Manchin said. His leadership style did not coincide with mine. Thank you for your service, Harry and it's time to move on and let someone else take over. Manchin noted the United States is now a troubled world and a divided country, but also that he is ready and willing to help. Putting country above party is required to become a true status person. Senator Manchin, you are one of the good guys thank you. What do you think about Senator Joe Manchin's comments? Please share this story on Facebook and Twitter and let us know your thoughts. It's News Exposed signing off.